Welcome. In this video, we are going over how to port your number to Mint Mobile, as well as how to sign up and get activated on their network. This is part two in a video series. If you missed the first part, check it out right here. I go over how to order the SIM kit that you'll need to sign up and get activated. And I also cover the information you need uh, to port your number successfully to Mint Mobile. So let's get started. This is the SIM kit Mint sends you. I placed my order on Cyber Monday. It arrived Thursday, so that was pretty terrific. Opening this up inside, we will find, okay. Looks like there's actually two things. Okay, so this is really cool. The package actually contains two starter kits. One is the Share the Love kit from Mint Mobile where you can refer a friend. This kit includes two SIM cards. Uh, one SIM card is to try out Mint Mobile. This includes the free trial with, I believe, 100 minutes, 100 texts, and 100 megabytes of LTE data. And then a second SIM card is if your friend decides they like Mint Mobile, they can use this SIM card to port their number to Mint Mobile and sign up for one of their plans. So this is really cool to see. This is awesome for families as well. So let's say one person signs up for the cleverness kit then they can sign up for the service and someone else in the family can uh, give Mint a try as well. This is the cleverness kit. This is what we signed up for. This is the five gig plan. Opening this up, we get some activation instructions as well as what I think is a beautifully redesigned Mint mobile SIM card. Get activated in three easy steps. Punch out the SIM card, insert it into your phone and activate it online. Here's the SIM card and here are some tutorials and other uh, resources you can look at for assistance. For this activation process, what I like to do is activate the SIM card first and then insert it into my phone. So we're gonna do that. You're just gonna wanna pop the SIM card out of the package and you're gonna look at the activation code which is in the top right of the SIM card. And with that, let's now hop online and walk through the activation process as well as how to port our number. Here we are on Mint Mobile's website. Before we get started, make sure you have the correct information you need to port your number. This includes your current phone number, your account number, your account PIN, and your billing zip code, all with your current carrier. Make sure to leave your service active when you go through the activation process and port your number to Mint. Mint will notify your current carrier, in my case, US Mobile, and automatically cancel the account. So there's nothing you really need to do. You just need to order the SIM card, which I covered previously, get the correct information from your current provider. And when you go through the activation process, your current account with your current provider will automatically be canceled and you'll be set up and ready to go on Mint. So let's click the activate button in the top right hand corner. Here we can enter the activation code, again located in the top right hand corner of the SIM card. And with that done, we can click start or resume our activation process. And here we get the option to either transfer an existing number or get a new number. And of course we want to transfer an existing number. Before we do, Mint is asking us to enter your zip code so we can verify your network coverage and then choose one of the options below. I'm actually gonna enter my billing zip code because I do not want any confusion and I know I have coverage there as well. And now I'm gonna click transfer an existing number. This will begin the porting process. And here we can enter the information we gathered from our previous carrier. You just need to enter the numbers. Mint will automatically format everything for you, as you can see here. Just be careful though, uh, while I'm testing this, I'm noticing the first digit I'm entering, in this case, the number one, is somehow ending up at the end of the number. I'm not sure why, it's probably a little bit of a bug in their system. Uh, but just be careful to enter everything correctly and you should be good to go. Once you have the information entered, just be sure to verify it. I'm going to double check mine here. Okay, it looks good to me. Now I'm just gonna click transfer. Mint is now going over their return policy. They have a seven day money back guarantee. That's pretty awesome. I'm gonna leave this up to you. I'm gonna check. I have read and agree to the Mint refund policy. Proceed with activation and they're gonna kick off the activation process. All right, now we're entering our billing info. A uh, couple things to note here. First, at the bottom, you have the option to enroll in auto recharge. I recommend clicking no thanks here. This way you can choose exactly what plan you want. Of course, if you really like Mint and you know you're gonna be sticking with the service, then I do recommend enabling auto recharge. That way you don't have to think about it and there will be no gap in your service. 
If you do enable auto recharge, make sure to enter your billing info. Otherwise, we already paid for our three months of service, so we can skip for now. And here we get to create our account. So we're gonna enter our first name, last name, email address, and create a password. That done, we click submit information. And here we go. So it says activation still in progress. We're in the process of transferring your phone number to Mint Mobile's network. Please check back periodically for an update on your activation status. You'll also receive an SMS when your phone number transfer is complete. With the activation process complete online, I am now going to eject my SIM card from my previous carrier, US Mobile. US Mobile, it was awesome being with you. I still really do enjoy your network. This deal is also really excellent though, and I do want to inform people how to sign up for it. And now I'm gonna take my Mint Mobile SIM card and just insert it into my phone. Okay, here is the current situation. I began the porting process around 5.40 p.m. It is now 7.38 p.m., so it's been about two hours, and things aren't quite working yet. If I swipe down into Control Center, you can see I am connected to the Mint mobile network. It says Mint 4G in the top left-hand corner. However, if I jump into the Settings application under the Phone section, I still don't have a phone number. So the porting process isn't quite complete, uh, and, and that means the activation process isn't quite complete either. Online is rather interesting as well. At the end screen, it said to check back frequently to get the status of the porting process. When I check back, it actually brings me back a couple steps to my account info. If I click submit information, that's great. It says activation still in process, but it is now missing my phone number. So I don't know if my phone number was lost or something happened. It's rather strange. So things seem to be happening, but they're not quite working yet and it has been two hours since the porting process. Now, this is totally fine with me. I recognize um, when I ported a number to Google Voice, for example, that took a full 48 hours to complete. So I'm totally fine if you know this is gonna be a longer process, that's fine with me. However, it's curious that I cannot get any updates on the situation, that data sort of seems to be working but isn't quite working, and that the online account, which should be providing me with updates, doesn't appear to be providing me with the updates I'm looking for and has in fact somehow removed the phone number that I am trying to port. So that's interesting. That is the current status. I think my game plan is to wait 24 hours, see if anything changes. I've tried rebooting my phone a couple of times. That has had no effect, which sometimes it helps um, in this instance. I think we're just waiting for the activation process to occur. Today is now Friday, December 7th. My number was successfully ported over to Mint Mobile on Monday, December 3rd. You can see I got this beautiful email from them letting me know my number was ported over. My existing plan on US Mobile actually stayed fully functional and active until my number was ported over. Then I abruptly noticed I could not send messages and I checked my email and I had this email from Mint Mobile and I was able to pop my Mint Mobile SIM card into my iPhone and my service was good to go. No setup or anything required with iPhone XS on iOS 12. Mint Mobile automatically supports group and picture messaging, visual voicemail supported, and so is the personal hotspot. So I was up and ready to go, and now we can go up top to sign in, and now I can log into my account, agree to the terms of use, continue, and here I can see my account summary. You can see three months, five gigs, normally is $90, we just got this for $20 and I kept my phone number. We can check our 4G LTE balance, check our roaming credit, and Mint is now offering $30 off your next bill, uh, $30 for your first referral, $15 for every referral after. Otherwise, that is it. That is how you sign up for Mint Mobile, ladies and gentlemen. Get three months for $20. This is their promotion it is still going on um i think it's kind of funny it looks like this timer actually resets just at midnight every night i don't know how long it is going to last but it does still seem to be going on as of right now feel free to check out this promotion linked in the video description it is an affiliate link so if you choose to sign up using my link i do receive a small kickback at no additional cost to you uh, it really helps support the channel and i greatly appreciate it 
Otherwise, like this video if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Again, everything is linked down below, and I'll see you next time.